fun. It was really fun. We played games and opened presents, and I got That's this. That's nice, dear, but could you tell me about it later when my show's over? Doctor, you know there was hope. Daddy, I went to Becky's party today, and it was really a lot of fun. We played all kinds of games. Oh. He had ice cream. We played I Had a Little Dog here. Yeah. That's nice, Susie. Do you want to know what I got? Well, can I tell you what I did today? Children can go to the dogs when families don't listen. Listening is the beginning of understanding. I remember that treehouse day. It seems like a dream, but it really happened. Well, that's it. Well, come on up, Mom. Okay, that was cool. I was so excited. I wanted us to live up there all day. I asked Dad if he had the time, and I'll never forget his answer. Time? I've got as much as anybody. I got to get in there. Milk? I said it. I know. Come on, sweetie, we gotta go. Let's go. They're gone now, Mom and Dad. But I'll never forget the time when they had time for me. Give your children everything. Give them your time. but not tonight. I'm busy. But, Dad, you've been saying that for months now. We will sometime, but not now. Well, okay. But could you go back to the camp and see what I've been doing? I'm almost finished. Just a minute. But, Dad, I need you right now. Put all that stuff in here. What does it take to get you back into the lives of your children? Give them everything. Give them your time. Now where are you going? I'm going to run away and never come back. Oh. Well, would you like me to fix you a sandwich? You'll need something to eat. You spank me and I'm going to run away. Running away? You know, honey, I kind of feel like that sometimes, too. Can I go with you? You're doing the dishes. Give the time to touch each other. Give the time to laugh and play. Give the time that makes a family live a lifetime every day. Give your children everything. Give them your time. Remember last week when you said next week you'd spend more time with your children? <laughs> it's next week. Remember last week when you said next week you'd spend more time with your children? It's next week. Someone who's been there, who knows just how you feel. That's what families are for. Someone to help, who knows when to let go. That's what families are for. Mom, I finished the dishes. Did you clean the sink? Dad! Dad! Hey! I got you eight! 
How many times do I have to tell you not to slam the door? Mom, I'm home from the store. Hope you got everything. Hi, Dad. I'm almost through with the lawn. Just don't forget to sweep off the walk. Did you put your bike away? When you ignore accomplishments, you rob your children and yourself of some very satisfying moments. Dad! Hey! I got your way! Great! Come on up, let's take a look at it. Hurry, Charlie. You're gonna be late for school. You're such a slowpoke. Mom, I'm Don't forget to clean that up. You know how messy you are. Hey, can I have some popcorn, please? No. Give your sister some. Why must you be so stingy? Michelle, I told you I was going to wash those pants. Sometimes you're so dense. How children think about themselves is often determined by the labels you put on them. That's a beautiful boat. You're sure good with your hands. I never knew how important I was to him or how important I was until, you know, he made me feel that way. So much and spent so much of his time thinking about me, and that's kind of a mind blower. I never thought of my grandfather as old because he was one of my closest friends. He really was, he was one of those kind of people that you know, I'll tell my grandchildren or my children, and they'll say, Oh, come on, you know, what was he really like? I guess I kind of look at things differently after just sharing so much with him and being loved by him so much. I just, I wanted to show him off. I wanted to say, look, this is my grandfather. Give old people the chance to enrich your life. A thought from the Mormons, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Remember the day you brought your new daughter home from the hospital? Seems like just yesterday. And remember when she was learning to ride her two-wheeler? How you helped ease the pain? And that day she just didn't want to go to school. How you told her you understood? How you let her know you shared how she felt? And you ended up taking her yourself? You know something, Dad? You're doing just fine. in the world, but hey mom, you never failed me. I got your nose and your hair that won't curl, but mother, you never failed me. You took the time to care, you made the time to share, you were the best you could be. And I know you gave up a lot, but look at the kids you got, mother, you never failed me. I know you didn't play ball very well, but mother, you never failed me. to be everything, to be everything to me. Maybe it's been a while since you've seen the view from down here. This is a world of don't touch, and you'll just have to wait. Life is a struggle down here. It's a world of looking out for yourself. Survival of the fittest, dog eat dog. 
And when your world comes crashing down all around you, even your best friends desert you. When you're all alone in a tough world like this, it sure is good to be understood. We have this argument all the time. So? So? That's it. I wish you could see yourself. You, you emotionalize everything. I do. Look, this marriage you is just about this a her. marriage? I don't know. I call it. Oh, I can call it anything. Really? Oh, just forget well, it. Where do you think you're going? If you think childish arguments don't hurt a marriage, don't kid yourself. Think of the times you pulled together instead of apart. And then, think again. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm afraid. I just... I just want to escape into sleep. I want to belong to someone. Too busy. 
I am too busy. No, no. Oh, they're just the pictures of Brian. <laughs> You're never going to be able to do it. Always spill it. Brian. Tuesday. You might not make the team. Uh, no, no. Listen. I told you. No, no. Learn. Please. Lynn. I love you, Brian. And you can do it. I know you can. Who he thinks he is, is who he's told he is. No, not just a sec. Now. Uh, hold on. I, I, I'm on a streak. On a streak? Do you know that I've been waiting for you for 20 minutes? I lost track of the time. You have been losing track of a lot of things lately. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. I don't understand you anymore. How do you fill the silent spaces with words that express the love and concern you feel? There's a new booklet called How to Talk to Your Teenager. Write Talk, Salt Lake City, Utah, 84150 for your free copy. It's designed to help you solve your communication problems, great or small. And in it, you'll discover not as far apart as you think. Teach her to love the world. Teach her to love herself. Because that's where loving really starts. All right, I'll put it on the conference call next uh, Wednesday, Phil. Okay. Bye. Uh, Ian, I want to get straight onto this thing and clear up that whole. Blaney. Hi, Dad. It's me. Oh, hi. You caught me right in the middle of a meeting, sweetheart. Uh, you work with that your daughter just hit the big time. Wendy, I'll have to call you back. It's the uh, dance uh, company. They loved my audition.
audition and I joined the show in January, starting here in Chicago. Yeah, I've been touring all over the place. Also, Wendy. also I found an apartment. So what do you think? Uh, that that's great, sweetheart. Now look, I'm gonna have to get back. Okay, uh, I love you. Yeah, right. Bye. I love you, Dad. Bye. Dad? Yeah, I'll call you tonight. Okay, let's wrap it up for now, Phillips. The people in your heart can't see inside your heart. They need to hear what's in your heart from you. If you love them, let them know it every day. A message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons.